Good evening, this is Jess here with Unbound Media, and we are doing another kind of product review video dash how I carry my insulin pump and keep it secure. Uh, I'm a pretty active person, so keeping this $11,000 instrument protected is key. So we're going to talk about that. So without any further ado, let's jump in. When I first got my insulin pump, I kind of had a mini freak out session because I realized just how much this thing costs. Um, it's just a lot of money. <laughs> so um, I've been kind of contemplating over the last couple months or however long I've had this thing, um, how am I going to keep it safe when I'm out and about? Out and about? Um, I am a pretty active person and I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I carry a lot of things on my person and adding a pump seemed pretty overwhelming. Um, so the first piece of gear I'm going to talk about is my, uh, my holster from Type 1 Tactical. Um, this thing is awesome. I've had a chance to use it for a long time. It's holding up. It's sturdy. It's not falling apart. These screws that hold it in, like they're still solid. So um, I will run this case on my belt. At a later video, I'm going to show you kind of everything I carry on my immediate person. Um, this being one of those things. So I just feel super confident with this versus the little belt clip that the pump came with. Um, this just keeps it a lot more secure, a lot more snug. Um, anyhow, just to kind of show you like... That isn't going anywhere. Like that's gonna stay in there as I run. Like th that ain't coming out. And um, I run my belt through it. I just wear a standard belt and it just keeps it attached and it does a great job. So if you wanna check out Type 1 Tactical, I have a link in the description. You can purchase at a discount. Um, thank you so much Type 1 for working with me on this. And um, if you guys wanna know more about this or you wanna see a more in-depth video, let me know. I will dive into the Type 1 Tactical holster. Okay, so that's solution number one. That's how I carry it daily. Um, solution number two is keeping the screen safe my cell phone which costs a slight fraction of what this thing costs um you know i paid you know 80 bucks or whatever for the phone case plus 40 for the screen protector and then i was thinking about this and i paid a whopping 20 something dollars for the pump peels which doesn't even protect it that just makes it look super sweet i wanted to get anything I can to get my hands on to keep this thing safe. I started looking up screen protectors and I came across a company that makes one and I'll put a link for them down in the description and if you uh, purchase you can get a discount. Um, so thank you guys for sending me these. So I have been running these screen protectors for a couple weeks now and they have stood the test of time. After dropping my pump a couple times on the ground the screen has stayed safe, no scratches, and um, it was it's just a good idea to have a screen protector. And uh, so I just wanna let you guys know that there are solutions out there if you do want to keep your screen on your pump safe um, from cracks or anything like that or scratches, you want this thing to last a long time, I suggest clicking that link below and um, picking up one of these screen protectors. And um, I was just gonna do a brief video and kind of show you how I change it out. So what I currently have on here is the matte finish, which um, it's kind of cool. It's like a glossy kind of look to it. Um, it does a really good job. So yeah. So um, whenever you order, you're going to get a kit that looks similar to this, and it comes with uh, this uh, black thing. 
um, it has a kit in there that helps you prep your screen for the screen protector. So while I have you guys, so that's what the, the matte finish looks like. I'm going to go ahead and take that off and I'm going to show you guys what the uh, nano glass looks like. And it gives it a real crisp, sharp image and it protects your screen. So it's like a two-in-one kind of awesome deal. Um, so anyhow, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that that's the matte finish there and we're going to prep our screen here Put it off to the side just open up that and it has the dust stickers it has a alcohol cleaning swab wipe thingy and then um, just a one of these cloths to help like wipe it up so um, real quick I'm gonna go ahead and prep this screen and we'll get this glass on okay now that we have our screen all clean we're gonna go ahead and get our nano glass screen protector which is this right here so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to peel the black one, okay? And then you're going to line this up on the screen. So it sits kind of right in the middle there. And then I'll push out all the bubbles. That's the nano glass right there. Just kind of wipe it off there. And you'll notice it doesn't take away any of the quality of the picture. Um, I do have some of my fingerprints on there, but um, anyhow, they wipe off really easy. Awesome thing about this product that I noticed. Um, so anyhow, that's going to protect your screen from scratches and things like that and I highly recommend it. So if you guys are looking for a screen protector to protect your $11,000 insulin pump, um, go ahead and click that link in the description and uh, you can purchase one and that link is specifically for the 770G. So that's kind of all I wanted to show you guys. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and uh, hopefully you picked up some hacks or some tricks or whatever to carry your insulin pump safely. And um, yeah, once again, Type 1 Tactical, I run that holster and then um, I put a link in the description for the screen protector that I run on my pump. So. With that being said, have a great night, guys, or great morning, or great afternoon, great evening, whatever time it is. I hope it's great, and we'll catch you on the next video.